Hi everybody, my name is Erwin Daly. I am with Matrox Video Products Group. I work as an account manager and today we are at Government Video Expo 2008 in Washington, D.C. Today I'd like to talk to you about one of our latest products. It's called the Matrox MX-02. It's a product available at uh, MarkerTech and I want to just go through a little bit of what this product can do for you. This is the MX-02 right here. As you can see, very portable lightweight and what it does is it provides all the standard video inputs that you normally use for day-to-day -day production and all the standard video outputs that you might require. Now we do a few other things than just input and output. First of all let's take a look at the way the box interfaces to the system. Inside the kit there are two cards there's a PCI Express card that goes inside a Mac Pro and there's a PCI Express 34 card that goes inside the Express slot if you choose to use a MacBook Pro which connects to the system. The system can be plugged in so you can power it from AC or new idea is you can actually run it off battery. It is a portable field-friendly device. So essentially with the MX-02 your system with Final Cut Pro Studio, Final Cut Studio, you're ready to go. All right, so what do we have at the inputs? Let's take a closer look. We have two channels of XLR audio in, two channels of unbalanced RCA audio. We have AES-CBU over BNC stereo, and we have HDMI input. The HDMI can be configured for standard definition or high definition video. And you can also have eight channels of audio embedded on the HDMI signal as well. And we also have the usual YC to support some of the leg legacy formats. We have composite, of course. We have component, which can be component SD or HD. And we have SDIN. The SDIN, again, can be configured for standard definition or high definition. And it can carry eight channels of audio. And if you are using this product in a mobile van or in a studio environment, you often have to reference or genlock a product. So we have bi-level, tri-level genlock available on the unit as well. So that basically covers the input. On the flip side, we have everything covered again, but with a few additions. Two SDI output channels this time. We have Component HD or SD, Composite YC. Again, of course, if I just take a little step back, it's important to mention that each SDI channel can carry eight channels of audio embedded, okay? We have HDMI at the output as well. Again, SD or HD, eight channels of audio, AES-CBU stereo. This time we give you six channels of audio so for those of you who need support for the 5.1 surround sound environment, no problem, it's all there. And sometimes you might need to lay back to beta, beta still being used, let's not count it out completely. We have four channels of XLR out. When you are using Final Cut Pro, you essentially decide which format you want to work in. So you might be using XD cam footage, MXF, DVC Pro, DV100, you name it, whatever it is, you can use whichever type of codec, whatever kind of footage you want. We don't care. The MX-02 is a codec agnostic device. So what that means is you can use any input, any output, and all of the uh, encoding decisions are made inside Final Cut Pro. So inside the box, we actually do a few additional things. We can do real-time scaling, and by scaling I mean up conversion, down conversion, and cross conversion. So let's say for example you are working on an HD project, but you need to do an SD deliverable for proofing. Okay? You can have your project set up for HD. Inside our preferences panel, you can say that you want the MX-02 to give you a standard definition output of that project over any of our outputs. So it can be from SD. Uh, or SDI, I should say, component, HDMI, whatever. So it, the box will, in real time, downscale your HD content to SD. 
okay? Um, we can also do cross conversion. So downscale from HD to SD, important to mention, upscale from SD to HD, then there's cross conversion. So I can go from 720 to 1080 or from 1080 back to 720 again in hardware. So basically your timeline is set up once, configured once, all of these other formats are handled by the MXO2. All right. Now, one other thing that I would like to mention about the MXO2 is that right now I've essentially gone through how it interfaces with Final Cut Pro, but you can also use the unit with other uh, softwares as well. Of course, I talked primarily about Final Cut Pro, but if you're using Color, After Effects, Photoshop, basically any application that uses the QuickTime engine, you will be able to get an output from that application to your program monitor. So again, not just in Final Cut Pro, but using some other applications as well.